towel drill. All right, this is obviously not a towel. This is a packing blanket. I want to explain why I'm not the biggest fan of the towel drill and why you should put some more thought into practicing with it. All right, towel drill. This is this is this might be a little bigger than than you practice it with. You might have something a little bit smaller than that, but one of the reasons that I don't like the towel drill is people will work harder to make the towel snap than they will to actually work through their form to see if the towel snaps. I don't hate the towel drill. I hate that it gives us a false sense of security for uh, making a proper throw. So I fell victim to this when I first started disc golfing. I'm like, I've got all this snap, but I can't throw the disc anywhere. Well, it's because I was cheating the drill because I, I was focusing really hard on trying to make the towel snap versus focusing on my form. So can you use the towel drill successfully to practice form? Sure, it creates some sort of resistance, but we have to really, really consciously try to make sure that when we're Let me get that. We have to really make sure that we're consciously working on our form and listening to the report of what the towel gives us. Not trying to cheat the throw. So that's a quick video for y'all why I'm not the biggest fan of the towel drill unless you really, really, really are focusing on your mechanics. And our brains focus on results more than they focus on actually doing the mechanics. And so the towel drill, if, you, if you've been using it and you're still struggling to throw, that might be the reason that you're having that issue because we're really focusing on trying to get that report from the towel versus actually cleaning up our swing. This is why I love nets. And I love cameras. Cameras help us visualize what we're doing wrong. And then with the help of a coach, he can get you that information or the drill or tell you exactly what you're doing wrong. And then if we're throwing into a net, we're not worried about the result of the throw. We're focusing more on the mechanics of getting the disc out of our hand. And then that in tandem with working with a coach or somebody that knows form can get you those results faster versus taking a thing and throwing it. The idea, a lot of the idea behind this is being able to just basically be someplace and, you know, practice your form. But if we start trying to cheat it or not focus on the mechanics, we're going to not get a good result. So hopefully that helps you all why you might be having a problem with the towel drill. If it works for you, cool. That's just what I see in the real world when I watch people warm up with a towel and then proceed to not throw very well. And it's because they're focusing way too hard on that report, not on what their body is doing.